जय हिंद वंदे मातरम दिस इज कुणाल मेहता फ्रॉम मेक मे साइंटिफिक एंड वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल मेक मे साइंटिफिक सो द वीडियो दैट आई हैव ब्रॉड फॉर यू टुडे इज अ बायोलॉजी प्रैक्टिकल वी आर गोइंग टू इन्वेस्टिगेट द रोल ऑफ क्लोरोफिल इन द लीफ इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस बट देर आर सम स्पेशल लीव विच आर नोन एज वेरीगेटेड लीव एंड इन वेरीगेटेड लीव द क्लोरोफिल इज नॉट प्रेजेंट एवरीवेयर इन द लीव राइट इट इज प्रेजेंट इन ओनली सम एरियाज इन पैचेस like as you can see over here that this is a variegated leaf and you can very well see that the edges of the leaf is yellowish that means it lacks chlorophyll so what we are going to do is we are going to destarch the plant for 48 hours that means i'm going to put the plant for 48 hours in the dark and then i'm going to allow the plant to consume the starch which was being already manufactured in the leaf due to photosynthesis so after 48 hours all the starch which was already present in the leaf has now been used up by the plant <clears throat> now i am going to pull out the plant and i am going to put it in sunlight for about 5 hours and now the leaf is going to prepare the glucose fresh in those 5 hours in presence of sunlight now one such leaf is already being cut and being used in the experiment so first of all what i am going to do is wherever there was chlorophyll the starch or the glucose basically the glucose is produced now glucose is converted into starch because it is easier for the plant to transport the uh, starch rather than glucose so now wherever the chlorophyll was present in those areas the glucose is being already made now one such leaf i'm going to boil it in water and i'm going to kill all the cells which were living in the surface of the leaf then that boiled leaf is being taken out and then that is being put in alcohol what alcohol does it it sucks away all the chlorophyll which is present in the leaf so almost the leaf is going to turn into yellowish pale yellowish in color and the alcohol which was colorless is now going to turn green because it sucks away all the chlorophyll then <clears throat> i'm going to add drop by drop the iodine solution over the surface of the leaf so iodine detects starch so wherever the starch is already being made by the chlorophyll those areas will turn blue black okay now going reverse wherever the blue black color appears on the addition of the iodine solution right we may confirm that in this area the starch was being present now in those areas where the chlorophyll was already present right so i hope you will enjoy this experiment let's do the experiment guys here i have taken a pedilanthus plant as you can see very well that the pedilanthus leaves are variegated they don't have chlorophyll everywhere on the leaf let's boil some water over the bunsen burner in a beaker let's take the pedilanthus leaf and immerse it fully into the boiling water Please make sure that the leaf is completely immersed inside the boiling water. Let's take some alcohol which is colorless in nature into a beaker. Let's boil some water in an aluminum container. We are going to gently lower the alcohol which is there in a beaker in it. we can't directly heat the alcohol as alcohol is highly inflammable we will have to continuously shake the alcohol in a beaker this is so done because we don't want any gatherings of the alcohol vapors as they are highly inflammable Let's pull out the leaf from the boiling water and immerse it into the hot alcohol present in the beaker. We notice that the colorless alcohol starts to turn green. This so happens because the chlorophyll is being sucked out of the leaf into the alcohol. Now let's pull out the leaf from the alcohol 
and put it into the petri dish. Please note the color of the leaf before and after. Also notice the color of the alcohol which turns green. Let's clean the alcohol which is gathered over the surface of the leaf with the help of the clean water. Let's transfer the clean leaf in an another petri dish. Now gently pour few drops of iodine solution over the surface of the leaf. Please note the change in the color of the leaf in different areas to blue-black. This is due to the presence of starch in different areas of the leaf. The blue-black color indicates the presence of starch in the leaf and it also indicates the presence of chlorophyll in the different areas of the leaf. You can very well see that the entire leaf doesn't turn blue-black because of the variegated nature of the leaf. Thank you very much for watching the video.